it's Angelo, and as I said at the end of my last video, I really wanted to make a little thank you video for us reaching 4000 subscribers. Now by the time this video is up, this number will have already grown larger as we are seeing a tremendous growth on my channel or rather our channel currently, and that's of course a wonderful thing. I figured that a good special for today would be a little Q&A where I read your comments and either give some answers or elaborate on some things that you're saying. What I also want to add is a little talk about our future content because believe me my friends, I have planned a lot of content for the future and of course for you guys, especially when looking ahead towards Battle for Azeroth. Now, I've been thinking for two days straight whether or not I should use my or rather show my face in this video, but you already know how I look and at the end of this video you will know why you'll see more of my face in the future anyway. Good. That being said though, let's go right ahead and look at some of your comments. Now starting us off is the first question from Zhang Hong Yu and I hope that I pronounced that right my friend. I have a question, Raidbot is telling me to put one point in versatility and will this increase my DPS and why? I hate my life, please help. Well I hope that you don't actually hate your life and I am absolutely glad to help you. Now one point of versatility is not going to increase your DPS at like at all. There are certain situations or scenarios where it may be worth going for versatility to a certain extent, but I want to cover that in another video where I go into our stat weights more specifically, so I kind of want to save this question, but good one. But for now, just for you to know, no, don't trust Raidbot on this one. Usually Raidbot is a really good tool to use, I mean I use it myself at times, so I can definitely tell you to keep on using it, but don't trust it with putting one point in versatility, because that doesn't make any sense. The next question is from Sven Schladerbeck and it reads, So is it okay to have 6 Fiending Dark traits or should we aim to have some of the other traits as well? The simple answer to your question is, it's okay to have 6 Fiending Dark traits, but the more detailed answer is that Fiending Dark gives diminishing returns, or rather has diminishing returns. And this means that whenever you put a point in, your next point is going to give you less of a value back than your previous point has. And at 6 traits, Fiending Dark is already diminishing in its returns, which means you'd be better off putting your next traits, perhaps even that 6th trait, into a different trait point. So for example, into Shadow Damage, or into Vampire Touch, or into Shadow Word Pain. Now I'm not going to tell you to respec your entire relics, or rather your your artifact. Six Fiending Dark Traits is fine, but don't go any higher. Definitely don't go any higher. <laughs> Next up we have a question from Nudasa. Grats on 4k, what's the song in the beginning of your videos? Thank you first off for the grats on the 4k, and the song in the beginning of my videos is called California Dreaming by Armand Sikin featuring Paul Ray. There's also a version without him, which is just the instrumental version. I will leave the link to the video, or rather to the song, in the description box and from now on out, so from this video and forward, I will actually leave the link in every description box. So whenever you find yourself having this question, just check the description box and you should be able to get it answered. Douglas Marconda says, I was thinking, with this nerf to Vampiric Touch and Shadow Word Pain, will this change for us going for Mastery instead of Crit? And the answer to that, Douglas, is no, you will still want to be going for Crit rather than Mastery. The reason for this is, obviously Mastery still does scale pretty good with us, but Critical Strike proves more value and actually proves longer Void Forms, very specifically because of your auspicious spirits procking through Critical Strike. On top of that, your dots will crit more often, which obviously gives them more damage, which is very important for our playstyle and our general damage dynamic. And our new tier bonus also scales with critical strike, so having more crit than mastery is actually really important when it comes to our damage. Jordan McCaig asks, hey man, have you tested the prototype personal decimator? I think it has an unusual way of procking. Some fights it procs a lot more than Spectral Thurible, sometimes it procs less. Well, my actual answer is that I have tested it this morning and I agree it does have a pretty weird way of procking. Now Spectral Thurible is relatively reliant when it comes to its proc, yeah I mean that is a reason why it is so strong. The personal decimator, honestly, didn't proc as often this morning but when it did proc, it did proc for pretty high damage 
So for me, it's kind of hard to say which one has the stronger or the more effective procs, but I will definitely keep you updated on it. Joao Marcido, and I hope that I pronounced this right, asks, The legendary trinket seems pretty hard to get. Could you give another option from the raid while we try to farm Amandul's vision? And of course, yes, I can. You do want to go for the Aquat Catalyst Injector next for Amandul's vision. Like, that is your second best trinket in the raid, so you definitely want to try going for that. If you want a more detailed review on all of those trinkets, I do advise you to check out the video that I did on the trinket review. That way you can actually choose which specific trinket you will want to go for, yeah? But the Aquid Catalyst Injector is definitely your best in slot next to Amantul's Vision when talking about trinkets that drop in Antorus. Last but not least, most certainly not, we have a question from Radomir Grauvac, and I hope that I pronounced that one right as well. Where do we find the exports for my weak auras? And in fact, I will actually leave the exports in this video again. But should you have any more questions, just check my interface video because I have all of the exports in the, in the description of that video as well. Now, as promised, I want to discuss a few future plans with you guys. Believe me when I say that I have a lot in store when we're talking about upcoming content. And one is that I will start making guides for other classes more frequently as well. I started this channel off, or rather, I started this off on my channel way back when we started, when I made a little review about the different DPS specs in the game, and actually continued with a basic tanking guide, as well as a marksmanship hunter guide, with all three of those being pretty well received. I want to expand on my own horizon as well as yours when making these various guides and reviews, and this is definitely something I'm preparing for for the future. In fact, my Marksmanship Hunter guide for this patch is already in the making. This will in no way reduce my Shadow Priest cover content, as the Shadow Priest will most likely always be my main, and I owe it to all of you to keep that tradition living. On top of that, I will also start streaming early on next year because there's been a lot of people asking me if I stream and when I stream and up until now, I didn't stream yet. Whenever I venture into new endeavors, I always want everything to be set up flawlessly, so before getting into streaming, I got in touch with one of my very close friends, who happens to be a graphic designer as well, Ironix. I do feel like giving him a little shout out here as the banner you see on my channel as well as the logo and various other things were designed by him so definitely do check him out if you feel like it. I think we all owe a lot to him and he's been very good to me so I am obviously very good to him. That is the reason why I haven't streamed yet though because I wanted all of my overlays, banners and screens to be well designed before I get into it in order to offer the same quality of content that I do on YouTube. Obviously, I will continue covering content in the same fashion as I am currently, so mostly guides, reviews, or personal insights for you to use, but with expanding this to different classes and specs, ultimately aiming to cover all of them of course, I hope to reach out and help more than just the Shadow Priest community while I do what I enjoy doing most, which is helping people. I hope this video gave you a bit of an insight of my plans and ideas and if you have any ideas, plans or things that you want to see in the future or feel like expressing to me, please let me know in the comments below. I'm incredibly thankful for everyone watching and I really hope that I will continue delivering content that helps you guys in the future. Thank you so much for sticking with me so far and let's see where the future takes us, shall we? As always, have a good one my friends and I will see you all in the next one. Lifetime in repeat.